unlock the storehouse unto me who am less than the least of all saints. Is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles an unsearchable riches of Christ? Ephesians 3, 8. In the word of God, there are rich minds of truth that we may spend our whole lifetime in exploring, and yet we shall find that we have only begun to view their precious stores. There are unsearchable riches for us. It will take us all eternity to comprehend the riches of the glory of God and of Jesus Christ. Christ has said, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. John 7, 37. Have you exhausted the fountain? No, for it is inexhaustible. Just as soon as you feel your need, you may drink and drink again. The fountain is always full. And when you have once drunk of the fountain, you will not be seeking to quench your thirst from the broken cisterns of this world. You will not be studying how you can find the most pleasure, amusement, fun, and frolic. No, because you have been drinking from the stream which makes glad the city of God. Then your joy will be full, for Christ will be in you. Jehovah Emmanuel, He in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, in whom dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Colossians 2, 3, 9 To be brought into sympathy with Him, to know Him, to possess Him, as the heart opens more and more to receive his attributes, to know his love and power, to possess the unsearchable riches of Christ, to comprehend more and more what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that we might be filled with all the fullness of God. Ephesians 3, 18 and 19. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17. There is no need for us to hunger. There is no need for us to thirst. While the storehouse of heaven is open for us, and the key is given into our possession, what is the key? Faith, which is the gift of God. Unlock the storehouse. Take out its rich treasure.